Word of Truth, J.D. Nigel, I'm back. We're talking about a foregone conclusion. Um, I'm going to have to find a new hobby. Listening to GMS has just made me an angry angry teacher, an angry Bible teacher because that that's what they're designed to do and I shouldn't let it get to me but um, I have to defend the gospel and that's, that's what I'm good at. I'm good at standing strong against idiots small bussers get on the small bus and just sit wherever you want doesn't matter you're all going to the same place anyway you don't have to count off. Can't do it anyway. How many of you guys have high school degrees anyway? That's a good question. How many of you have graduated high school? I don't think Apostle Tahar did. He seems like one of those really dumb guys that tries to be smart by... by talking about the Bible people don't know the Bible and it's easy if you don't even know if you have if you never even got through 10th grade it's gonna be really hard to understand the Bible and that's what these guys count on is the the lack of education of the average Negro <laughs> in the average Latino, in the average Native American. So let's finish this off. So, okay, all right. Dispute over circumcision. The Pharisees are saying, you got to have be circumcised, you got to keep the law. Paul Barnabas went up to the temple and said, we got to get this straightened out. These guys are just whack. They don't get it. The Lord taught us that all men could come on onto me. Onto how wish I said they could all come on to me. All they have to do is believe in me. So they went up and they're saying, We're the dudes that are doing all these miracles. Remember him, the guy with the chains? Remember the one that was blind? There he is. That's us. See all the people following us? They have the Holy, Holy Spirit. They, they've heard the good news and received it. So let's talk about this fucking Israelite foreigner Gentile thing. Because you Pharisees are messing up the Lord God which knoweth the hearts bear them witness giving them the Holy Ghost even as he did unto us we have a gift we're giving the Holy Spirit the Lord said my comforter my my spirit will come down on you and I want you to go into all the world and preach the good news that those who believe on me will have everlasting life. And they said, right on. The Holy Spirit empowered them to do these things. So first, Paul and Barnabas said, this is the fact. There's us and them, but in the end, it's going to be all of us. You Jews... You Pharisees, you Sadducees, you small bussers, you smart asses that are taking all the money and not giving any love. Yeah, I wish I whooped your ass not too long ago. Do you remember that? When he came in here and turned the tables over and whooped you with a cat of nine tails. Remember that? How soon you forget. <sighs> So then James said, 
men and brethren, hearken unto me. Simeon has declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name, them. How could, how could it be us, GMS, if it's them? Us, them. Check your atom online. Us means one group, them is another group. Not them that's us, them that's them. Monkey brains. Add them online. Check it out. Us, them. After this will I return, and I will build again the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down, and I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up, that the residue of men, the rest of men, how's it say it? The rest of mankind. What's mankind? Man. Check your atom online. Mankind. We're all mankind. And we're all spirits. And we're not. And we're all fallen angels. We're all down here in chains of darkness. You fucking fallen angel people too that are got a hundred thousand listeners because you're talking a bunch of nonsense and people love nonsense. Fallen angels. Fuckers, man, you're going to get it. Um, telling you. I'm not here to argue. I'm here to fucking warn you. That the residue of men, the rest of mankind, might seek after the Lord and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called, said the Lord, who doeth all these things. Verse 18. Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Who is that? How, how are all these works known? Through Israel. And that's why GMS cannot be Israel because they're not, they don't have the story. Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Let's see what it says about the beginning of the world. Eternity. Forever. I've been here forever and I will be here forever. At him online. Eternity, gentlemen. What's it mean? Eternity. Adam Online. Maybe if you paid attention in school, you wouldn't have to go to Adam Online and look up simple words. Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to God. What are you doing, GMS? Not only are you troubling them, you're troubling me. I don't know which one God's more pissed about. They don't even know. They don't even know about your stupidity. But I do. I hear you. They don't care what you're saying about them. They're like, who are these? My my, my little baby Christian ex-girlfriend even knows that you guys are stupid. She's like, why do you listen to those guys? They're stupid. She doesn't even... She's simple. She's gentle. She's of the world. She's walking around here like like the rest of these robots. But she knows that you guys are stupid. So I don't know what the hell you did listening to them for. She doesn't understand who I am. I have to fight back against these guys because that's what Paul and Barnabas... Do you think they wanted to go up to Jerusalem and tell these Pharisees, are you, are you guys out of your mind? Do we need to break out the, the cat of nine tails and whip your ass again? Those things are over. We're loving people into the kingdom now. We're not... Yeah, wait till Yahushai comes back and he'll, he'll straighten you out. Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to God. But they... But... Salakia. But that we write unto them that they abstain. These are the four things that the Gentiles have to do. This is it. <coughs> Slock you.
So if Israel has the laws, if Israel has the laws, Israel knows right from wrong, Israel um, knows that women are supposed to do this way, men are supposed to be that way, um, we know the feast days, we know that we're on a flat plane, we know that we're not spinning through space on a fucking wet ball rocket. We know these things. Israel doesn't believe in planets. We can't. It's, it's, it's antithetical to our belief system. And so when these idiots say planets and they're showing that they're taking the bag or they're just playing small bussers. How many times did you guys flunk? That's why I call your religion flunky. Because you guys have probably flunked so many times you never made it even never even made it through high school. I graduated midterm with honors. I don't I don't go around telling everyone I'm a smart dude. I don't have to. If you can't tell, then you're pretty dumb. Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to God. I could go into that. There's a letter right there, our turn to God. Let's see. We got a little time. 19a, um, Acts 15, 28. It's on the next page. Thank goodness. For it seems good to the Holy Ghost and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things. And it says the same thing that I'm going to read right now. This is all that's this is all that's required of the Gentiles. Them. Us. GMS. All right. Okay. Us. All right. Okay. Them. All right. Us. Them. This this group. That group. Okay. All right. Monkeys. But then we write upon them but that we write unto them that they abstain from the pollution of idols. There's four things. The pollution of idols. Let's not worship any other God. No Buddha. No Krishna. No Vishnu. No Mary. No Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, or Kakadash. That they abstain from the pollution of idols, from fornication. That means pretty much the same thing. Don't be dabbling in in Buddha. Don't be dabbling in Vishnu. Don't be dabbling in Catholicism and married worship. Same thing. It's basically the same thing. Stick with God. Stick with Yahweh. Stay over here. Stay over here. Two things are basically the same. And from things strangled and from blood. That's it. It says it right there. Tell the Gentiles this is all they have to do. Don't be messing around. And respect the blood. Respect your God and respect the blood. It's not really, it's not even four things, it's two things. Respect. Yahweh and respect the blood because the blood is the sacrifice that's going to save your Gentile butt. For Moses of old has in every city them that preach him being read in the synagogues every Sabbath day. In other words, Israel already knows what to do. Israel has these things in their heart. I used to wonder about the blood when I was a little Christian. When I was a little Israelite. Why am I... Why is the blood so important to me? Every time I'd go to, go to church or every time I'd think about God, it was always about the blood. I'm like, I didn't even know what that meant. But I knew I was about the blood. The blood, the blood. Why? Because he had to shed his blood 
for the sacrifice to get our spirits respect the blood blood in blood out baby the blood courses through your veins the blood I I still don't understand the whole thing about the blood all I know is it's the bottom line so that so then when I went over here when it said um, them which among the Gentiles are turned to God it says the same thing what was it um, Acts 15 28 he says the same thing over again um, it seems good this is 25 it seems good unto us being assembled with one accord to send chosen men send chosen men send chosen men send 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 at him online GMS send have you been sent or are you fucking coming out of your own small bus mindset to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord, Yahweh Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, the same guy, the Messiah. They've hazarded their lives. It's going to get more hazardous for J.D. Nyjah. I'm not afraid. Fuck it. We have sent, 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 at him online, sent, sent, he has sent. Therefore, Judas and Silas, who shall also tell you the same things by mouth, the sack of my mouth. Listen. For it seems good to the Holy Ghost and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things that they abstain from meats offered to idols and from blood and from things strangled and from fornication from which if ye keep yourselves you shall do well do well fare you well and so when they were dismissed they came to Antioch and when they had gathered the multitude together they delivered the epistle, which when they had read, they rejoiced for the consolation. And Judas and Silas, two more dudes, saying the same thing. We're all saying the same thing, except GMS is saying something different. Being prophets also themselves exhorted the brethren with many words and confirmed them. Adam online, confirmed. And after they had tarried there a space, they were let go in peace from the brethren unto the apostles. Notwithstanding, it pleased Silas to abide there still. Paul also and Barnabas continued in Antioch, teaching and preaching the word of the Lord with many others also. My ex is right. Why do I listen to those guys? They're stupid. She has a stilted heart and she still understands that these guys are stupid. If you don't love the Gentiles, if you don't love, if you don't love them, you guys might as well just hang it up. I'm gonna keep bagging on you guys. You deserve everything you get, and it's not gonna be pretty. This is your brother J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. Hope I didn't scare anyone. 
I'm designed to be a scary guy. Peace be with you, my peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Stand proud for the gospel. Stand strong for the little ones, the naive. All they need to do is stay away from idols, Stay away from fornication. Stay away from things strangled with blood. That's it. Don't eat things that were killed. Don't fornicate with other gods. Stick close to Yahweh and believe that's all a Gentile has to do that's how we know there's a difference between Gentiles and Israel they have no they have very little responsibility they don't have to go out preach they don't have to teach they don't have to stand for the gospel they just have to believe and not and not be dumb us and them, Edamon Online, GMS, you dummies, you're sick. You're sick. Heavenly Father, I pray that all the little ones that believe on you will find you. All the ones that seek you will know what you need from them. It's not much. And they do it with their pure heart, with faith. Word of truth, J.D. Nijah, I'm going to try and walk today. Get some exercise. See if I can kick this freaking weird COVID deal out. All right. I'm out to the next one. Okay. The sky is... The sky is saying something. Look at that mosquito. I killed him. All right. Love you, brethren. Love you, Gentiles. I would say I love you, GMS, but... You guys are hateful. You guys don't know the gospel and you're trying to, to drag people into the pit. You're going to pay for that shit. All praise is honor and glory to the Most High Yahweh, His only begotten Son, Jesus Christos, and the Holy Spirit that comes on to us and them. Okay? All right? I'm out.